Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel where tonight I have for the first time in a long time a new flavor of Cheez-It crackers. This is Queso Fundido and it says up here on the top Nuevo. I don't know what they mean for people that don't speak Spanish but obviously it means new and this it says in very fine print white cheddar cheese onion tomato and jalapeno pepper flavors now queso fundido means molten cheese so melted cheese and they show here a some kind of an earthenware pot with melted cheese, tomato, and jalapenos on top. Now, if you were in Mexico, this would be made with asadero, manchego, chihuahua, cheese, and chorizo, which, looking on the address, <laughs> looking on the ingredient list, I don't see those ingredients on here. I do see monosodium glutamate, white cheddar cheese, buttermilk, onion powder, tomato powder, cheddar cheese, jalapeno pepper. So they don't even have certainly not authentic cheese and not even the some of the American equivalents that you would find on this side of the border down in Texas. Of course we're not in Texas here. Get this open. It does have a sort of a vegetable pepper aroma along with the cheese and aroma. And I can see some specks of seasoning on there. I don't know if you can, it's so small. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Well, there's supposed to be jalapeno, and there is a tiny bit of jalapeno flavor, but Right now it's a 0 out of 10 on the Robert Dyer heat scale as far as pepper heat. You know, some of the cheese varieties of cheese, it, I have to say, are quite bland and you probably would have to agree. So let's we'll see if this is a... I do taste a little bit of tomato. I'd say these are probably a little above average in terms of the amount of flavor on each cracker. Bob, I'm speaking to you from a basement recreation room in Naperville, Illinois. I found the Chicago suburbs to be surprisingly fertile ground to recruit new members for the Robert Dyer cult. So many alienated and disaffected, ready to find new purpose in opposing the new world order. In a few moments, I begin broadcast of a pirate TV station only receivable by a few hundred nearby Naperville suburban homes. First on the schedule is a dramatic program about a meth and unemployment ravaged working class white neighborhood called Mr. Bob's Neighborhood. It will be followed by a sitcom called Nutty in Naperville. <laughs> a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. Hello, neighbor. You get back. You. 
Slide that Doritos bag over here. No, not the nacho, the Cool Ranch. Come on, nice and easy. Napers. <laughs> this isn't a breakdown. It's a breakthrough. Well, I have to say there's much left to be desired with these crackers. I will say that there's a little more flavor than I usually find in Cheez-It, but it's really more of a vegetable chip flavor. That's what if somebody gave me this and didn't tell me what it was, I'd say it was sort of like a vegetable thin, only with less flavor and less hearty cracker. For the claim of jalapeno, barely any jalapeno flavor and absolutely no heat at all. A zero out of ten on the Robert Dyer heat scale. And really it just seems like there's no excuse. Uh, I've, they should have had the authentic Mexican cheese but if they couldn't do that I don't see any of the American equivalents like Monterey Jack mozzarella, um, you know, just white cheddar cheese, and that is what you get then in the final cheese flavor. It's just not much variety and not much punch to the cheese element of it. So for a cracker called cheese it and a variety that's called molten cheese, where's the cheese? So, and why in this day and age they can't put a sprinkle of chorizo flavor in there somehow it just seems in 2019 hard to believe it's not the 1970s anymore so I would say this would get probably should get two stars I'm going to bump it up to three stars only for the reason that it delivers more seasoning flavor of some kind than most cheese it varieties do. And so I think you wouldn't be disappointed from that standpoint, but you're definitely going to be disappointed if you're going by the name or the description on the box as to what you thought you were going to get. Hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.